So, I've been having some PTSD, like, flashbacks, sort of. I've been trying to explain it to my boyfriend, and he's been, of course, super respectful. It's just, like, I can't tell him every time something's going on, necessarily, because... Oh, it's not focusing. Because... I don't want to seem like I'm obsessing over it, even though that's part of what my symptoms of PTSD consist of, is some intrusive thoughts and inability to turn them off. And some, I off like the situation basically is that I zone out a lot and he seems to just assume that I'm zoning out because I'm stoned or something. But a hundred percent of the time it's because I'm, having some horrible flashback and I can't say that every time. And I don't think I've even told him that that's what's going on necessarily, but it's, it's weird because tell him everything. But I feel like maybe if I tell him too much, like he'll get tired of it. But then again, that's just, see abuse brain just does all this shit to you that, makes you unsure what boundaries are real human boundaries or are just like dumb boundaries placed in by your abuser that you've continued to reinforce. Like I just, I have trouble discerning. Like I I don't always know. And that's like the hardest part of having PTSD to, to abuse is like, I have these reactions to things that I can't control that people seem to think is just, me being difficult, but it's, I'm not excusing difficult behavior. I do accept that I can be a functioning human being and I am a functioning human being. It's just, there's certain times that where I feel like I can't safely explain how I feel without people just assuming I'm being overdramatic. It sucks because I feel like we live in such an age of well thought out mental illness preparation and help, but I still feel left out of that. (laughs) I don't know. My eyelashes look hella fucking good though. I like my eyes too. I'm in a pretty decent outfit. I wasn't supposed to go to work today and I ended up there. And so I had to work till like, noon and it wasn't that bad but then I like took the bus out to my boyfriend's place and fucking (sighs) I took like an hour to get here (laughs) and when I got here I like read my messages from my boyfriend he was like oh you pick up your keys from my roommate or I and I was like roommate's not home because I totally thought his roommate would be home and I like just look around and it's completely hard to get in I end up having to like break in it was a huge deal I had to, like, stand on a temporary fucking building that their downstairs neighbors have out and made a bunch of scary noises, and I broke my boyfriend's screen window, but hopefully he's fine with that. Uh, Yeah, this is another video of me just trying to get myself used to being on the camera so that when I start making videos that are thought out and planned out, I'm comfortable, because I don't know... How people do that. So yeah. Bye.